Okay, so this one day, this guy Mark tricked me. And I'm not ashamed. It was necessary. You see, after a certain amount of dating, you you get to a point where you know, okay, she's the one, he's the one, she's the one. You know, there's only forward from here. The next step is marriage. You're, you're gonna do it. You gotta tie the knot, seal the deal. Right, it's so true. Yeah, and so once you get to that point, you enter into a battle, especially in our relationship, because that battle becomes, we both know what's coming. You're we right. both know a ring is on the way, and, and so, the question no longer is, are we going to get married? It is, when are we going to get married? And so knowing that, I launched into a master scheme. The, the trick she's referring to was, I knew the best way to keep our engagement a surprise was for me to fully convince Rachel that the day I was proposing mm -hmm. was actually far later than the actual day. I had to convince her I had to drop little pieces of evidence and, and stupid slip-ups of the tongue that led her to believe she knew the exact date I was going to propose. Which he did. He started in August of 2018. He started dropping some hints that, oh, our anniversary is coming up in October, that we have to plan this big old plan. Halloween, the day we met. Yes, Halloween is the day we met. So in August, he starts talking about when we need to make reservations, we need to make these big plans, we need to get dressed up, and even that we need to get each other gifts that are big, but little. Trick number one, this guy doesn't even plan for the upcoming weekend, so she knew something was up when I started planning. Yes, I started noting in my head and telling my friends, this guy is so obvious. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then the final zinger was when I found something on his desk. Yes, uh, so not part of the plan. Rachel found out what I was planning for her birthday. Mm -hmm. I did not intend that. Um, I took her to the Rise Lantern Festival, a giant awesome lighting of the lantern. You throw them in the sky like the scene from Tangled. Mm -hmm. I lucked out and found out about this awesome festival that happened to take place on her birthday mm -hmm. or the weekend of her birthday. Yeah. But so I was stoked and I had this this plan of like gonna surprise her with tickets to this festival. And I accidentally found out in what, June? Middle of the summer I find out, wow, he has this big birthday trip planned for for me coming up the next coming months. Totally didn't mean to find out, but I did. But as the true chess master that I am in this little battle, I use that knowledge to my advantage. The knowledge that Rachel is indeed a snoop. And she will try to find out. She's trying Not to Not on me. purpose. She's trying to find out when this engagement's coming. I'm trying to make it a secret. So it's it's a battle. But I had whatever. I have my queen, you know, positioned perfectly for the checkmate. When I devised this plan, it, it was Another thing that was unplanned that I used to my advantage is when I went to get the ring, I went with Nikki, so she can attest to this, but somehow in my very intentional designing of the ring, putting all my heart into it, the salesman somehow talked me into getting a Jared credit card account, which I did not intend to sign up for. I thought I was just getting an account through Jared, but it was a credit card account. Anyway, weeks later, I received a credit card from Jared in the mail, and I was like, what the heck is this about? Canceled it immediately, but then spawned in my head a great idea, because as I looked at the envelope, it said Jared Jewelers, big and bold letters across the front, very official envelope, and I thought to myself, what is a better piece of bait for a snoop? <laughs> than a, an obvious envelope from Jared Jewelers. From a ring company. Yep. Yeah. So I used this to my advantage. I wrote up my own letter from Jared saying, Mark, your ring is coming at expected time, not delayed. It is expected to be here within the window October 20th, which is like two weeks after the planned proposal date, mm. but still a week before October 31st. So yes. it was the nail yes and i happened to see it because it was on his desk i opened it i read it she it snooped said <laughs> she snooped she opened the ready. letter 
So I definitely had it in my head that he was going to propose on October 31st. Thus, the stage was set and the surprise was actually a surprise. Yes, and so for my birthday, three weeks earlier or four weeks earlier, we headed out to the desert. Okay, the festival was epic. Yeah, it was crazy. The, like, we got there early, got to choose anywhere we wanted to sit. We chose front and center, which means I got to cheer my man Dean Lewis on front stage. I was his biggest fan. And I ran into American Idol. Yeah, she ran into American Idol. Oh my gosh, they were totally from American Idol. <laughs> and... We got interviewed by a reporter. And then as it got dark, they instructed us to start lighting the torches, which were all set like six feet apart in this very aesthetically pleasing way around the whole place. Mm -hmm. Which then they let us, the, the way the festival worked is there was three like main events. There was the first United launching, so everyone launches at the same time the lanterns. You like, oh, you like write on them, these cool little, anything you wanna write. We wrote down some prayers to God for, mm -hmm. for like what we wanted this next season to be. I wrote some, you know, little things of like, please help this night go well. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so they lead you in like a united launch of the lanterns. And so we together, actually the first launch I let Rachel film. So I was like, hey, film this one. And then on the second one, let's just be in the moment.
Such a beautiful moment in dedication with intention. So expansive. Beautiful. The rest of the night is yours. Shout out to Nikki, Darby, and Kiana for being the best film crew out there. So obviously he totally surprised me. And that's awesome because I actually didn't know if the Snoop card or the letter worked or not. So it was still it was up in the air. My opening line when I got down on my knee, I said, Rachel, I don't know if this was a surprise or not today, but I hope it's no surprise that I want to spend the rest of my life with you. And I blacked out because it was very emotional and the whole night was this magical bliss of a night and I'm so thankful that I was surprised and that I didn't find out about it earlier because it was so 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 special to be that much of a surprise yep so guys don't stress out too much about what you say when you go down on that one knee because I put a lot of time into it and she did not remember one word. a word yeah I don't remember a word yeah so after we celebrated and embraced our engagement proposal success, we headed out to the desert. Surprise part two, we actually were not just headed home after the festival. We took a detour out to my buddy Logan's lake house and we spent the day there with the next like two or three days there with Logan, Nikki, Robbie, and ourselves being newly engaged. And that was a blast. A kickoff to our engagement season. Ready?